Jesus. Everything is better than ever now. And we've got some amazing new wonders around the house of Proven. For instance, our refrigerator holds more food and ice cubes. And thanks to our automatic dishwasher, oh, I don't have to dry the dishes anymore after supper. Gives Rover and me more time to enjoy our evening stroll together. <laughs> Later, boy. Oh, and here's something else that's new. I just heard a new term today on the radio. Fella says, we've got something now called the rat race. Did you ever hear that one? It sure describes my life. I'm involved in something now called commuting. I drive into the city for work all day and then turn right around and drive all the way back. And the highway is crowded with fellow rats doing the same thing. That's what they call progress, dear. <laughs> yeah, I guess she's right. But we do have television <laughs> when it works. Gives you something to do after you come home. I kind of like it, you know? Guy named John Cameron Swayze gives us all the news. And then they have all this singing and dancing. A lot of fluff, but it's fun. You know, I predict the day when millions of people will learn Latin and Greek sitting in front of their TV sets. Are you ready, dear? Yeah. Give him a left, you big love. Ah, yes, a new age of electronic civilization is upon us. Hey, Dad. What do you think of my jack-o'-lantern? Oh, oh, boy, that's scary. That's because I'm using my beautiful sister Patty's picture for a model. <laughs> Down, Rover. Jim, Rover appreciates your joke. Now, you're always kidding poor Patty. She's certainly prettier than either of you. Oh. <laughs> you hear that? My daughter Patty is using that old exercise machine she rescued from the attic. It was all a rage in the 20s. Grandma, of course, had to have one. Didn't work then, doesn't work now. <laughs> Consistent, at least. Makes a lot of noise and blows fuses. As I was saying, Cat, I think college is really swell. Uh -huh. You should give it a try. Oh, Patty, are you going to the Halloween party tonight? Oh, yes, and I'm posting the boots from your inches by then. Sarah. <laughs> You're lucky, Rover. You don't have to date. Well, we're caught up in the do-it-yourself craze these days. We're remodeling our basement in something called a, a rumpus room, and we're looking forward to a few rumpuses out there as long as they don't get out of hand. John, this papering is getting out of hand. I could use a little help. Now, Sarah, didn't I set up that clever automatic paint stirring machine for you? Yes, John, you're a genius. Of course, this will ruin my food mixer. Not that you'd care. Oh, good old Sarah. Always the last one. What happened, Sarah? Oh, you and your progress. That paint mixer of yours just sloshed paint across my rump. A rumpus, a room. <laughs> now, how do you like that? I always say if you're going to be married, marry a girl with a sense of humor. Well, it's time to move on. Let's cheer up Sarah by singing our song. Come on, everybody. There's a great big beautiful tomorrow.